Hello and welcome. You're watching To The Point. What are Dinesh Trivedi's real feelings towards the Trinamool and its politics? And how does he view Narendra Modi and his policies? And is he preparing to break with the Trinamool and embrace the BJP? Those are the key issues I shall put directly to Dinesh Trivedi, who's here in studio with me, prepared to give his first interview on a subject that has been, in fact, at the very top of the news for the last two days. Dinesh Trivedi, let's start with the Trinamool Congress and the way politics is being played in Bengal. You've said, in order to improve the economy of West Bengal, we should reach out to the centre and there should be no place for ego. Two days earlier, you said, the Trinamool Congress has lost a golden opportunity to improve Bengal because of an ego problem. Whose ego is coming in the way? Uh, Karan, that's more of a generic statement that collectively we have no place for ego and in our federal structure unless and until you have a very good equation with the center things become more difficult. I'll give you just one example that during the freedom struggle Gandhiji even went with a langoti to the Britishers who were supposed to be enemy. So that we have something to do with the people. So wherever people are involved, and Karan, why are we in politics? We are in politics to make sure that we contribute to the masses at large. And from that point of view, I mentioned, I did not mean to talk about any individual person. Absolutely, but you said collective ego. So is it the collective ego of the Trinamool party that is, in a sense, coming in the way? You see, if you go back in the history, no, don't go back. So, no, we have to because for last 35 years, in the left rule, they always said because of center, because of center. Maybe it's true, but we do not need to continue that. You Somewhere mean Trinamool down the line, is continuing the policies of the left to Bengal's detriment? I only want to mention that we need to better our relationship. For example, for example, I'll give you one example. Then it'll be very clear. The way we are, opposition is stalling the Rajya Sabha or at times the Lok Sabha, that's not the way to do it. Parliament is meant for debating, discussing, agreeing, disagreeing. Absolutely. So that is where I mention that if you have some kind of a problem, let's say with the legislation, it's always better to sit down with the Prime Minister or the Minister concerned and say that these are our issues. Now, There's fact, just no point going out on the streets and tearing gone, papers. You've gone one step further, and I'm quoting you again. You said to the Hindu today, in fact, that the Trinamood is creating roadblocks for the development programs of the BJP-led government. What no, sort of roadblocks are you talking no, about? I, you see, legislation, there are certain legislations which are required, which are for the betterment. You can defer. Philosophically, you can are you defer. And about, for are you talking about coal, insurance? Are you talking about land acquisition no, ordinances? I'm, I'm talking about everything in general. And there could but be... No, hang on. This is a specific point you made. You said TMC is creating roadblocks for the development program of the BJP-led government. What sort of roadblocks no, no, do you I, have in you mind? See, I think, please, let me make myself very clear. There can be a difference of philosophy. And I must tell you the way... Uh, they were trying to grab the land in Singur by killing people. That was not the way. So there could be a genuine difference. And that difference is you can sit down and say that, look here, we cannot go beyond this. And there is always an exchange of ideas. All I'm trying to say that if you want to develop, which I'm sure everybody is concerned to develop, if you do not have land, where are the factories going to come? Absolutely. So and at you, the same time, can I, can, I, can I interpret what you're saying? You're saying there could be genuine philosophical sure. differences between Trinamool and the central government. Absolutely. But sit down and resolve them. Absolutely. Don't let them become an obstacle. Absolutely. That's in, what it is. In a sense, then, this is advice you're giving your party. Sit I'm, down and resolve the problems. Don't let them become obstacles or roadblocks. I am nobody to give advice because they are very... Uh, mature, senior, experienced people. I can only voice my particular point of view. This is your point of view. This is the time where the world is looking at India. 
India has become the favor in the world mm. because the economy in the world is slowing down. India is the engine Absolutely. of growth. Absolutely. But I want to focus on the relationship between Bengal and the center. Now, you've gone one step further again. You've said, and I'm quoting, the TMC is unnecessarily engaging in confrontation with the BJP. And as a result... No, I, I don't think so. I've said that. Today's and Hindu. Today's Hindu, Hindu might have published because whatever I say, I always own it up. And there is nothing wrong in owning up whatever you say. But what I meant, whatever the wordings may say, I, I am not so negative about anything. My life has been always positive. And in order, which I just said, that if India progresses, Bengal has to progress. Bengal used to lead Absolutely. the way to the world, not only to India. You said something very interesting about the nature of politics in Bengal today. You said, it's time for mature politics in Bengal, but what are we doing? And your answer was, we are engaged in politics of violence, and even in colleges, bombs are hurled during elections. Who's responsible for I, this wrong sort of politics? You know, I'll tell you, Karan, without mincing word, without mincing any word, I have to go back to 35 years of misrule, and where I, I have, I'm born and brought up Almost but, but born and brought up in You're talking about something that's no, happening now, you. not but 35 I, but years I ago. I must tell you, the culture goes on. And it reminded me of a movie. I don't know how much of movie you so see. So you're saying Bengal is the yeah. victim uh, of a culture that is 35 no, years old? No, Bengal's culture is very high up. Bengal is all about mm. Rabindra Tagore. Yeah, but, but, but uh, Bengal not. is all about Vivekananda. Bengal Dinesh, is Dinesh, all about Dinesh. Dinesh. You know, there are so, people. So let let me finish. put it like this: there are people who want to listen and try and understand. Yeah. I'm simply asking you questions so that you get an opportunity to explain your thinking. If we keep going back to Rabindranath Tagore, we have to. We, have to but, no, but, but we won't understand. No, let me. Please. Who, you who is responsible <laughs> for what you are calling so, the immature politics of Bengal? See, Karan. You may be looking for headlines, but no, you, no, I'm you not. need I'm looking you, for understanding. But, but then you have to be little patient. Okay. The reason I said the real Bengal is not what we see. The real Bengal is people with tolerance, peace, love, and knowledge, and that's what we need in India. Thirty. When I was growing up, I have seen this violence. We don't need to continue violence in colleges, universities, even schools because that's temple of learning we don't need political flags to, to, to or what in extent university are Bengali we need politicians responsible for this and to what extent are they failing to understand bengal's real culture of rabindranath and love sure. and imposing violence there to what we, extent do you blame politicians we we i blame all of us collectively because good people keep quiet we need to talk about it we need to talk in a very matured manner in a peaceful manner in a tolerant manner that the time has come that why are you dividing the student community with political flags can i put this yeah. to you you said something very interesting not about bengal but about the functioning of the opposition in parliament sure i want to quote that to you you said the negative approach of the opposition towards the government is an obstacle to the progress and development of the country is that one reason why i never saw you participating in those protests that held up the Rajya Sabha or the Lok Sabha. You were absent from those. Karan, I'm a member of parliament since 1990. And I must tell you, it's not a virtue. I've never ever gone to the well of the house. And I can guarantee you, I'll never go to the well of the house. Because for me, parliament is really a temple. And that is where temple of democracy, you discuss, debate, differ, have your viewpoint. Once in very rare a while, you can walk out. But whatever you do, do it democratically, peacefully, maturely, because students day in and day so out, those, they watch from the gallery. So this is not India so we deserve. Those protests in parliament that I held up legislation, particularly during the budget session. I don't approve of that. You don't approve of it? I don't approve of that. Can I ask another question? Do you support Mr. Modi's land acquisition, coal and insurance ordinances? I, I must tell you, when you are representing a party, you may have your views within the party, but at the end of the day, the party whip works, and you cannot have your individual view. Individual view you can have within the party. Okay. So these are so even if you do support this, you can't say so in public. But to me. but this is where I must come again. I must come for a fundamental thing that this whip business should only be restricted to financial bills. 
we should be allowed right, right. we should be allowed to talk our mind otherwise why are we in parliament i understand what you're saying Simple you're saying that. that the whip does not permit you to express Absolutely. your true views Which about is, these I ordinances don't, i don't agree with the whip system the whip system must go only when Can there I? is when there is a threat for the fall of the government let's come back to the comments that i've gone through just now about trinamool about politics in bengal about opposition to the central government the clear impression people have is that when you talk about ego coming in the way it's either mamta or trinamool the clear impression people have is when you talk about immature politics you're talking about mamta banerjee style mamta banerjee will go down in history as a leader who gave us freedom from the misrule of the left and then from the violence of the left and then so she is quite a tall national leader and i don't think so is appropriate for me to make him any mention on that but, she, but she, is she she's the a, ego? she's a very tall leader but is she the ego that's I, I, stopping see, development is she the see, ego that's we, road blocking the bjp's policies i think collectively we all are responsible we all have to speak up we all have to tell our mind and that is where i i would not so like to blame any individual and and i cannot forget that mamta banerjee has done a lot of good work the, to bengal the important Please thing is that. collectively, collectively the trinamool has a responsibility all the opposition when i talked about it it was all the opposition i can't okay. see i can't see some representative from bengal or anywhere else tearing papers on the floor of the house be it rajya sabha or lok sabha that's not our culture this nobody should accept it Now, and i have objections to that let's come to narendra modi because you said of him narendra modi is doing very good work and tremendous positive energy has been generated that's separately true. you said it's now evident that he is a man with a vision and a mission certainly i have known narendra bhai more as a friend much before he became the honorable prime minister of india and that is why i know his his vision his ways of working one may differ certainly in politics in 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 democracy one can differ as far as i am concerned wherever in the world i have been recently everybody is talking about india everybody is talking about the engine of growth in india so we have an opportunity today let's not miss this opportunity if government is found to be wanting we should be the first one in a democratically peaceful manner to say that listen Can this is not you, on do you admire narendra modi as prime minister <laughs> who am i no it's a simple question do you <laughs> of You're course a of course he is doing good work and i think i think we should not be hesitant after all he is prime minister of india and we all are indians if he is doing good work we should be proud when you go out and when people talk good about india don't you feel proud don't you feel good about it has narendra modi becoming prime minister made a difference to the way india is perceived in the world oh any day any day has absolutely he... and, and let me tell you and i am no sycophant to anybody i have my strong mind and f see the problem is uh, current people don't understand for me country always will come first party leader all those things are important we respect them but is the country because of that country we are there you look at the soldier in siachen is, we can't even stand there for 10 minutes let me put this to you do you agree with and support the development policies that narendra modi is implementing swachh bharat make in india is such a great idea what is swachh bharat is related directly with health i was the health minister Do you know, Karan? Every day I get hundreds of calls for people just to get admissions in a hospital, just to get admission in a school, just to get a job. So, and we, if we are in politics, we are responsible to make India strong. So, make in India is nothing but jobs. We require a lot of jobs. And if we cannot be positive on this, what should we be positive so on? So, am I right in understanding that you believe that Narendra Modi is doing the right things? to ensure india's future he is doing the right thing but also i will add that he does require a road map he does require a team because the vision is absolutely laudable okay. but at the same time team is required delivery is required road map is required two of your colleagues in trinamool have called narendra modi i'm talking of derek o'brien he called him the butcher of gujarat mamta banerjee once called him a donkey well i i have always uh, lived with positive things in life 
and I don't even would like to ever think about this. So you don't endorse those comments? I, of course, you know, we have to be in the fit of a moment one could perhaps use, but one has to be in public life uh, very, very sensible and not use word which you would not like to. So you, dis I'm sure, you disagree, I'm disagree with this language? I, I'm you sure, disagree with this no, language? I, I'm certain everybody, but I'm sure they perhaps might not have really literally meant it. Well, they said it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it. You've known Narendra Modi, as you said a moment ago, since 1990. You've told the Hindu that you are, in quotes, in touch with the BJP. Can I ask you? I'm in touch with uh, everybody. But you see, in politics, stick. this is another sure. thing that in politics, if they are of know, a different but, but party, let me ask you can't question. talk to them. Let me no. ask the question. You don't believe in political untouchability? Certainly not. And you believe the BJP is a party that you have a right to be in touch with? They are the ruling party. Narendra Bhai is a friend. I have been in touch and I have no hesitation in telling. I, have, I will remain in touch also. Have you been in touch with Narendra Modi after he became Prime Minister? Many times. Have you met him recently? Whenever we Have you met him recently? Of course. Whenever we meet, we talk only about India. We only talk about the country. And believe me, we don't waste time even talking about the weather. Believe me, we do not have time for petty politics. And we only talk, how do we do it? Where do we do it? And that's what it is. And, and that is what is required in today's politics. Have country. you been in touch with Amit Shah? Of course, I've been in touch with everybody. I have been in touch with Biman Bose also. Please understand. Because I don't believe in politics of partition. I believe politics where we can sit down and agree to disagree. Can I ask you this? Is Mamta Banerjee your party leader at the moment aware that you've been in touch with Amit Shah, Narendra Modi, you Biman see, Bose? Be, let me tell you. No, no, Biman Bose, I've been in touch. He's a friend. Everybody. But is she aware? Yachuri is, she, is no, a friend. Is she, Mr. Karat no, no, is back, a friend. Come back to my question. Is yeah. she aware that you've been in touch with if Narendra you, Modi? If you are doing something illegal, then you should be concerned whether somebody is aware or not. You are doing something for the country, and I don't think so. You should be, uh, you should be concerned at all. It's a free India, and it will be a sad day when somebody says, "Oh my God, why did you go to that party?" No, if you are doing something wrong, first of all, your conscience has to be clear. Now, That's now, it. now, you if, said you're, if you are going to go somewhere with a motive. Then it's a different story. You said to the Hindu this morning when you were asked that you have not decided about leaving Trinamool to join BJP, but you added, whatever I do, I will do it with dignity. Certainly. Can I ask, and you, let me tell you, can one I ask thing. you a question? Is there a dignified way of parting company with the Trinamool no, no, and going to the BJP? See, I'll tell you what is dignity means. If you are going to fight election tomorrow and you are just meeting somebody and changing the party just to get a ticket to fight. If I would have done this thing seven months back, just before the Lok Sabha election, then I would have been an opportunist. But politics is not about being opportunist, it's being about taking the opportunity to do good to the people and take that platform. But in that sense, I can again tell you, if I'm going to leave a party, just, just let me, it's very important. If I'm going to leave a party, who, you know who will be the first one to know? It will be Mamta Banerjee. And that is, that is what dignity is all about. Is because if you are going to do something which your conscience doesn't allow, then don't do it. Have you discussed the concerns that you have about the Bengal politics with Mamta Banerjee? She's a very tall leader. And I'm sure she also is aware, and I'm sure she will also agree. You think she will approve? When you, say, when you say, I'm sure she also is aware, have you discussed them? Or has she just been made aware by reading them see, in the papers? See, what happens, there are certain things which are within the party, and you don't talk about like what you have within the cabinet. That's, that, let's so these remain, have been that's, discussed that's, within I the party? I think she's a very tall leader. So these have been and, discussed and, within and, the party? And she is also equally, I have no hesitation in telling you, Mamta Banerjee would be equally concerned as I am concerned, as you may be concerned. Well, maybe, but she doesn't show it, she doesn't talk about it, you have talked about we, it. We need to change the culture of violence and I don't like it because I have seen too much of violence in my Can I, my, can I, can I, can I come age. back to something you said a moment ago just now in this interview, you also said it this morning to the Hindu. It's not opportunism. But one should not lose the opportunity to serve one's country. Sure. 
If Mr. Modi were to offer you a challenging role, would you accept? Let him offer. <laughs> and I think we, ha we have to come to this thing that you could be in any party. If there is some role offered to you for betterment of the country, what is the problem? We, this is a new India, it's a new era. The world is moving very fast. And I have no hesitation in saying, yes, I would. But not for the sake of just to remain in power. Everything has to be meaningful. I'll give you another example if you have two minutes. Obama and Hillary fought like crazy during the primaries. But after that, Hillary became uh, Secretary of State under Obama. So this is maturity and I think time has come where Indian politics needs to mature and you don't read too much. And don't be opportunist. I, I don't need, there is nothing which I need. God has given everything. There is just nothing which extra can be given to me. I've been there, done okay. that. I'm not looking for a job. You please. said something to NDTV yesterday. You said, I want to change the DNA of Indian politics. Certainly. And for that, I will do whatever it takes. I will talk about it. And I think it's time, people like you, your studios, we must debate that this negativity in politics has to go. C can I ask? Does doing whatever it takes to change the DNA of Indian politics include joining the BJP? I, that's a very small thing. I think it takes much larger. It takes all of us together. One Dinesh Trivedi is insignificant. All of us sitting together has to debate. And I'm positive about it. You will see the change. I'm talking today all these things. I'm sure a lot of people will catch up to there. There's going to be a public debate that why should we be Can so I scared of, you? Uh, like for example, if everybody is praising our Prime Minister all over the world, is it a crime for me to appreciate my Prime Minister? He's our Prime Minister, he's your Prime Minister. Mamta Banerjee doesn't praise and appreciate him. I cannot compare myself with anybody. As I said, she's a very tall leader. Will she be unhappy hearing your praise of Narendra Modi? When I do something, I have no fear. Ravinda Tagore has said, where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. My mind is absolutely without fear. My head Can is I held high. Can I ask you up front, a please. simple, straightforward please question. Please do, please do. Are you considering parting company with the Trinamur? I have never done anything with a personal motive. I'm not saying if, there's a personal motive. If, if there is something, like I said, I'll be upfront. And there is no motive. When I say this thing, please believe me, there is just no motive. Tomorrow, yeah, but, if but, this but, triggers something mm -hmm. and something else happens, I do not know. I'm not predicting the future. But please believe me, there is no motive. I'm not I, designing... I, I, I completely believe there's no motive, so the motive doesn't come into it at all. I'm not questioning your integrity. But I get the clear feeling as I hear you talk that there is a gap opening up between you and the Trinamool. No, that, uh, absolutely the ideas don't match up because I, there are certain values which I believe and uh, I'm sure they have their own, own thinking. But, but I, I have certainly a difference of opinion. I would not like to disturb the house the way we are doing it. So there Can is a difference, there is a difference. You're honest and candid enough to say there is a difference of opinion. Sure. How serious are those differences of no, opinion? No, no, I, I, you see, these things are democratically done. And I'm do I don't think so, I should feel shy about it. Because that's the way democracy works. Are I don't think so. I'm abusing anybody. Absolutely. I don't think so. I'm denigrating anybody. That's the way it is. Dinesh Trivedi, are these differences of opinion between you and Srinamur becoming wider by the day? No, there was a difference. Why? Talk about the railway budget. There was a big difference. And I was very clear it was Mamta Banerjee, TMC, who had put me as a railway minister. After the I resigned. After the railway budget, when I you resigned. were asked to resign, Forced out, in fact, by Mamta Banerjee. No, I was, there was no force. There was no force but you because were, you were no. you were not critical of her. You were loyal. I'm and not silent. still. I'm not still. I see but you. But now you're talking my, about differences please, of opinion with Karan, Trinamool. Karan, please understand. My loyalty is not to an individual. My loyalty is first to the country, and it will always remain. I have not come into politics for being can loyal. I, can I, I think the, the royalty has gone. S loyal is a different thing. You follow certain principles. You said principles. something very important. You said my loyalty is first to the country, Always. not to an individual. Always. Or Does not that mean 
that your loyalty will be first to the Prime Minister and then to Trinamool? First to the country. But the Prime Minister is the Prime Minister of the country. First to the country. Because country is beyond the Prime Minister also. Please understand, first to the country. Okay. And then to anybody. Because when, again, I tell How, you... How can I ask you bluntly? The people of India want to hear you explain just one simple thing. Are you coming close to parting company with Trinamur? I told you, I had made a speech more than 10 days back somewhere. Is the media has just picked it up now. Yeah, but you aren't so, answering my question. So, so I'm just telling you, so I have not done this. If I want to leave Trinamur Congress, who will stop me? I can, I can always do that, but that is not the purpose. And I can tell you on your studio just now, I'm not going to do that tomorrow. That is not, not the tomorrow. purpose. But is not, it? That is in, not the purpose. Not tomorrow, I accept. But is it likely in the next week, 10 days, I, two that weeks? That is not the purpose. That's not the motive. That's not the reason. That's but at the same time, if something happens, I'm not predicting the future, but this is not being done how to many, the objective that I leave 3MC tomorrow. Okay. How no. many other people in Trinamool think no, the way you do? I the papers no are speculating there could be three, four more, including I have, ministers. I can only speak for myself, and I have spoken that I do respect Mamta Banerjee. I do respect. I do respect uh, uh, the way things should be done because I have been taught right from my okay. childhood to be disciplined, my, and I will always remain. My that last way. question, Dinesh Trivedi, the surprising thing is that despite the focus in the newspapers and TV channels on what looks like differences and dissent between you and Trinamool, and you've accepted today there are differences, you candidly accepted it. Trinamool See, has, one, uh, may, may I just use one sentence, one sentence please? Differences is not defiance. We always, Vallabhai Patel had difference with Gandhi, Gandhi had with Nehru, Nehru had okay. with Subhash Chandra Bose. That is not defiance. Differences in mature politics is not defined. Absolutely. The interesting thing is, despite your praise for Narendra Modi or your implied criticism for Congress, on both counts, Srinamool is silent. In fact, there's only a one-word response from Derek O'Brien and it's ignored. How do you explain that? I don't need to. I don't need to. I just know what I am telling and whatever I am talking is keeping the bigger picture of the country in mind. Okay. That's about it. My last question. Are you at all worried? Worried? That you're precipitating a situation, <laughs> or are you in fact hoping, maybe I should phrase it differently, that you're precipitating a situation where you're expelled so that you retain your MP position? See... Which otherwise, if you resigned, you'd have to give up. I just said, if the mind is without, with fear, then the head is not held high. The mind has no fear. Please understand, we are so fortunate, Karan, you and I and so many of us, that we live so comfortably. There are people who do not have hospital bed. There are people okay. who do not have education, no shelter. Then and and, I'm and, going to and that to is what it is. We have to be fearless okay. and we have to only fear if we do something wrong. You have been fairly fearless, but not as fearless as many had hoped you would be. But I'm grateful that you came because to I the don't studio abuse. to explain your thinking. And you made two things clear. And I want to repeat them for the sake of the audience. You've accepted honestly and candidly that there are differences between you and Trinamool. The and philosophy. Whatever. And also about protesting in the well of the house. Sure. And secondly, you've candidly accepted that you admire the Prime Minister, you agree with his development policies, and you would agree with many of the things that he's doing. You believe sure. he is the best for India. The At Tavedi. the moment, yes. Certainly. At the moment, yes. The Nesh Tavedi. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much indeed. There Thank we take a break. Much. And then when we come back, a debate between the Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP over what they're offering Delhi and who's got the better offers to give the voters as they get ready for the elections on the 7th. See you in a moment, guys.